Hello. This is a video. Oh, oh it's amazing. That was lovely. Hello, welcome back. So back to vlogging normally this week. And we're actually just packing up the car because we're going down to Cornwall today. It's Wednesday. Didn't vlog Monday, Tuesday because we were just catching up on loads of stuff, uploading all of our videos ready for when we go away next week. And yeah, we're just packing up the car to go down to Cornwall to see my mum and dad for a few days. And of course they look after the babies while we're away. So yeah, that's, that's the state of play right now. Um, I look like a cat burglar. I'm gonna show you my outfit because it's very unlike me. Right, <laughs> so I have a humongous puffer jacket on, complete with hood which is actually coming with us to Canada. Um, but I thought if we're gonna go and walk on the beach and stuff in Cornwall, then this might come in handy because we're due a lot of rain. Uh, this is from H&M. And then underneath I have, you probably can't see, because all the black just merges into one. Underneath, black polar neck from Zara, black Levi's jeans, and I have some Timberlands. I feel like such a G right now. Is that G or is it that? I don't know, Simon likes to do that. We'll stick with that. Right, we're fully loaded in the car. Hey guys. Ooh, everybody looks lovely down there. And I made sure that we stopped off to get some travel snacks. Do you want to see what I got? Yeah. Right, so I'm just letting this cool down, but it's a breakfast wrap. And then, excuse the state of the car, it's disgusting. We've got Belgian buns in there. That's my breakfast wrap. Mini donuts and, oh, where's the sausage rolls gone? Oh, sausage rolls right down there. Good old Greg's. So Simon's just had to get out the car to do the tires because the pressure light was on and look at this lot. He literally gets so on alert when he gets out the car. We've probably got about half an hour more to go. And look at them. Are you agitated, you lot? What's happening? Bo, is something happening? Hello. Hi B. what's going on? Are you gonna sit there? Okay then, bye. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> what, what was that accent? <laughs> We've arrived, haven't we? We've had a pasty. Yeah. And now what are we doing? Food. Yeah, more food. <laughs> more food. <laughs> Always lots of food. This lot have got lots of new toys. Oh, who's that? Boris, let's have a look. Oh, no, I'm not allowed it. it no, what, I just want to look at it. It's a little whale. Oh, you're having that. Okay, bye then. Oh, you're having another one. Who are we having? <gasps> Who have you got now, Boris? Can you just try and get Bean? Who's this? We've got a little dolphin now. We're all about the marine mammals, aren't we? Okay, bye. You've not got sandy boat shoes on. No, these are ghost step seashore boat shoes. And I won't be able to say that when I've had a few to drink. <laughs> very, very nice. Add those to the collection. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we've come for dinner. In a little place called Charlestown. It's called the Long Store. I'm gonna have a look at the menu and make sure it's Emma friendly. Yeah, you've got all that, you've got these. Yeah, you've got kids menu, look, there you go. So it's got kids menu. Do kids menu. They got chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, I feel so ill. Right. But I need to address this fact because look what I'm wearing. Yes novelty pajamas so my mum and dad's house is a lot bigger than ours and it's freezing so my mum always leaves me out some of her pajamas to borrow so that I don't get cold in the night because they're like Simon and won't turn the heating on just because I'm the only one that's cold so these are my PJs that I have to endure but they're warm so let's just go with it 
hug me. Really? What are you doing? Come on, it's bedtime now. Oh, no one wants to see that. Ah, I'm knackered. Are you knackered? Yeah. So tired. Going to sleep in like what is like an English country garden duvet. No, he's in his pants. Right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So, this is how we do breakfast. Woohoo! Check it out. This is a very fetching breakfast attire. Yes, very nice. Oh, yes, I need this. What are you going to do, Bean? What are we making? Hasselback potatoes. Oh, you've gone all posh. <laughs> it's because of the Hasselback potatoes. Hasselback potatoes. This is what we're having. Where have you just put that ice cream? Back in the freezer. Oh, we'll have to show we'll everyone it. that later. Oh, yeah, I've been We've nice got some surprise. festive ice cream, haven't we? Yes, we have. Okay. Little's best, but little does good. So these are potatoes with chilli and stuff on. And garlic butter. And garlic butter. Garlic this butter. This is very fancy. I feel like a posh person. Right, go on then. You can put them in the oven now then. I'm excited about them. Oh, so oh, so are you, obviously. Yeah, and there's the alcohol. This is what we're having for dessert. What are these? These are little mince pies. L little mince pies, because look. Little have got new ice cream and it looks and tastes amazing. Mince pie ice cream, yes. Gingerbread ice cream, yes. I'm having both. Look at these mince pies. It's only the middle of October. It's never too oh, this early. Is Christmas. Well, it's not actually Christmas though, is it? No. Oh, how satisfying is that? Yes. Yes. Morning guys, it is now Friday. So me and Simon spent the whole day yesterday finishing off filming the Q&A video, which you might have seen it went live on this Sunday just gone. Um, so that's what we were doing all day yesterday. And then obviously last night you saw what we were having for dinner. And yeah, now we're on Friday morning. Simon's staying here to finish editing that Q&A so that you guys can have it at the usual time on Sunday. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm in what used to be my old bedroom. Obviously it was not decorated like this, but this used to be my old bedroom and I had this massive wardrobe here with all these mirrors, which is awesome. So lots of mirrors for me to do my outfit. So what do I have on? Well, I have my next cashmere scarf, which is very, very soft. It's quite chilly down here in Cornwall, so I do feel that I need a scarf and a coat and, you know, all the warm and cozy stuff. Then I have my And Other Stories camel alpaca coat. Underneath I have quite a thin, a uh, navy knitted sweater from H&M. Underneath that I actually have like a nude colored t-shirt. I'm all about those layers. Uh, jeans wise, these are the H&M straight leg jeans, which I'm always wearing with the frayed hem. And then these trainers, I thought I'd be like casual trainer person today. I actually got sent these from Nike, or I was, think I was supposed to go to this event with Nike uh, a few months ago. And for some reason I couldn't go, I was ill or we were we just got back from a trip and we were knackered. I can't remember something. Um, and they actually sent them to me anyway because they were waiting in a goodie bag for me at the event. But because I couldn't make it, they sent them to me. And I haven't actually worn them. They're, they're white with like these perforations and then the Nike Air is in gold. They're very, very jazzy. And they're so lightweight. Sorry, I just got really snotty nose and I'm just wiping it on my hand. That's so grim. I'm going to wash this hand in a minute, I promise. Um, yeah, so they're very, very lightweight and I just felt like being casual today. And then I have 
Judith, which I'm going to pick up with my snotty hand. <laughs> Lol, Judith. And that completes today's ensemble. This is a video. <laughs> But are you just demonstrating that you've got your light up pen still? Yes. Okay, would you like to run everyone through your outfit? Because I've just done mine. Right. Um, Jaeger nautical stripes. Okay. Asda jeggings. Asda jeggings? Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, nautical gold button blazer. Yeah. Bit like Sandy bought shoes, this is a bit more complicated. Should we just call them beach shoes? Yeah, it's easier. Real pearls, fireball, not plastic. Not plastic. Um, and matching earrings. Very nice. What about this little bag? Oh, uh, Paul Costello, crossbody. Yes. Is that yes. a term you've learnt from me? Yes. Educated. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Shall we? Yeah, we might need that. because All we're doing is going looking for <laughs> scented candles, so we might need the light up pen. Oh Christ, let's go. <laughs> right, so we've just been to Trago Mills. Would you like to explain to everyone what Trago Mills is? Wow, it's amazing. You can get anything it's there. Lots of she's stuff. happy, she's got a bag full of <laughs> crap. <laughs> yeah. There's no peacocks, usually a peacock. Oh, okay. Normally they have peacocks here. This is our version of Vista Village. This is your version of Vista Village? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I think Vista Village would be very disappointed with that. <laughs> but look, look at all the swag back there. And now where are we going? Asda. Asda. Going to Asda. Oh, and B&M. Oh, and B&M. We're on a tour of yeah. Cornwall's houses of crap. <laughs> right, mum insists that I show you these, what are they, cockerels? Yeah, fluffy feet cockerels. Fluffy feet cockerels before we leave, just, just so you're aware that they're here. Because there's lots of exotic birds here and that's all there is today. Those don't got, look very oh, exotic. You look, you look frightened if somebody says I'm legging it. Right, we've basically just gone from one car park to another. We're still at Trago because she's decided that she wants to show you the Avery. Now this is the full glory that is Trago Mills. Okay guys, so this is the keg and kettle. This is the cafe restaurant thing which I spent again most of my childhood in. Probably every weekend, right? Yes. Every weekend we came here. Look, they got a little no pond area. There's no ducks. She's very disappointed about the ducks, but we've got lots of birds in here. Look, budgies. Very exotic. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, portion of chips, 149. And you want your bat. Yeah, and a bat. Let's go. Look, true to form though, there's always a bloody queue. This is how it works, there's always a queue. Yes, we did it, didn't we? Look, and look, by the peacocks, that's exactly what she wanted. And this is what we've got, chips, bats. You're gonna see how the professionals make a chip butty, right? Look at how excited she is. First rule of chip buttying is to make sure You've salt and vinegared your chips. Lather it on, mother. And then you've got to give it a shimmy to evenly distribute. Have you evenly distributed? Okay, fabulous. Next step, mother's gonna demonstrate the next step. And we've got to halve the butter. That's very well done. Very well done. Look at, look at this technique. Excellent techers. <laughs> Fold it up so you don't make a mess. Oh, that's very considerate. Evenly spread that butter out. So I've already explained to everyone on Insta Stories how I arrange my chip butter. What's your method? This looks a bit haphazard to me. Um, it all goes to the same place. I'm not as fussy as you. Oh, right. So you just. You just, right. you're just making sure you've covered all the bread. Yeah, you've got to swap that one. Excellent. Yeah, I'll stick that one on and uh, yeah. there. Yes. Oh, very nice. Was that a good, 
good effort. And you know I could have had a glass of wine here in this exotic Do you want a glass of wine? All oh, right. <laughs> well, that was very nice, wasn't it? Mm, that was lovely. <laughs> Fine chip butty from back in the day. How we used to do that every single Sunday. <laughs> Chips were the same. We Back know how was to the live. same. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> She wants to show you the river, just so that you're all aware. Oh look, she's ignoring the no access sign. Now what are you doing? <laughs> look at this maverick. White water rafting. White water rafting she wants to do on there. That's the river. Are you happy now? Yeah, we've seen it. Okay. <laughs> We're at Asda. And what were you just saying? I said, if you find somebody's receipt on the floor, it's nothing, don't give you any personal information, but if they've done a full load of shop, generally on a windy, wet day, if you pick that receipt up, dry it out, go on as the price guarantee and tap in the number on the bottom and you'll find you'll get a voucher, best one I've had, off somebody else's receipt, six quid. And then you can spend it. How's that? Savvy? It's good. <laughs> just can't see. <laughs> What's that? Told you. She's fine. Was that worth running across the car park for? Yeah. <laughs> Find the mother. <laughs> oh, where's she gone now? What are you doing now? No. <laughs> she wants that really. <laughs> it's stuck. It's lost forever in the trolleys. Look, you're not going to get that. Oh no, you will get it. Oh, let's have a look. You're actually doing this. No, that's worth nothing because oh. it's only got stamps on. Right, so, oh, you're just going to put that back. Okay, job done. Morning, guys. It's now Saturday. Oh, it's not even morning. It's 12.47, so good afternoon. We are now in the car driving up to Bristol. So we've left the babies at my mum and dad's. And now we're driving back to London, but via Bristol, because we're going to stop off and see our friends, Molly and Dan. And yeah, so we're going to stay there overnight and have some- And Bernie. And Bernie, yes, Bernie. Molly is a school, I was going to say school friend, a uni friend of Simon's. And Dan is her now fiance. And is hilarious so I'm sure he will be playing up for the camera and I'm so sorry but you probably won't be able to understand a word he says because I even struggle. This looks like very official stuff that we're Focusing on here. Do you want to say hello to YouTube, Dan? Hello. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> and we're looking, what are we assessing here? Pub stops? The pub stops of Bristol. This is Bernie. She's playing with a new toy that we got you on, you Bernie. Oh, you're so beautiful. Dan's having some difficulty opening the fake Pringles. What's step one? Pull up. Okay. Nothing to pull up. Look. Oh, pull up. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Wait, what? I pulled off the second step. Just go in. Going, go in. Thumbs in. Yes, victorious. <laughs> Verdict? Good? As good as a Pringle? No. Well, are they fake Pringles, are they? Yeah, Walker Stacks! I have never even heard of them! So, Molly, do you, do you watch out videos on YouTube? Do you do you know how YouTube works? No. I <laughs> well, I know how it works. So, people will film something, and then they will upload it, or add it. <laughs> Don't laugh at me! So, Say Bernie did something really funny, like, like chase a rabbit. Chased a rabbit. I'd film her, and then other people could search. 
Bernie. That is also the most West Country video. <laughs> <laughs> a bulldog chasing a rabbit. <laughs> what sort of stuff do you, do you like search for on YouTube? Like cute dog thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything there? It's all there. <laughs> yeah, just checking yeah. the itinerary. <laughs> this is our feast for the evening. Mighty fine. <laughs> yeah, no, she's found the ears. <laughs> It's not the licking, it's the breathing out, the snorting. <laughs> <laughs> Which <Would> you do? <laughs> it's so much spit. Oh, you should. <laughs> she just dives in, doesn't she? Yeah, she literally <laughs> does. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday morning now, it's 7.31am, we are already on the M5, heading back to London, so we've left Molly and Dan in bed this morning, had quite a late night didn't we, quite a late night, Dan introduced me to Stranger Things and now I am hooked, so I can't wait to finish watching that, um, yeah, lots to do today once we get home. It's now one o'clock, back home. It's so quiet because the babies are now down at my mum and dad's, so the house feels really empty. Um, I am packing, <laughs> or attempting to, over here. I have a massive pile of coats. There's more than 10 there, which is excessive, but you know, stuff's gotta be done. And then all of this, all over the floor, this isn't even half of what I'm taking, but it's all gotta be packed. And I'm just catching up on The Handmaid's Tale, which is amazing, but it also makes me feel ill, because it's quite scary. Um, so yeah, that is the state of play. Now tomorrow we fly to Montreal, so I'm gonna leave, sorry, itchy eyebrow, gonna leave this week's vlog here. And yeah, don't forget, obviously we're going on the trip tomorrow, so don't forget to come and follow along on Insta stories. My handle for Instagram will be down here on the screen. And this Sunday's video is my denim collection video, so stay tuned. And we will see you guys next time and on Insta Stories. Bye!